G'day guys, Sam here. Welcome back to the next vlog. Um, I said that this vlog was originally going to be a new nutrition one, but I've lied to you. Um, I'm actually just going to start off me Saturday with going for a kick for a soccer ball. It's about midday. Um, I've only had the one meal today, but because it's technically a rest day, I have a few less, or I have two less meals today. So um, I'm about to go on ahead and have a kick, and I will see you when I get there. Alright guys, so I've only just gotten to the soccer pitch now. Being the middle of summer in Australia, I've come across this little dilemma that all of the sports fields around here take the soccer field, soccer pitch, soccer goals down rather. Um, so I've come to somewhere that's close to me that has a summer season and the goals are miniature but obviously when I'm practicing shots the aim is to go for top bins so that doesn't really change and I can obviously simulate a pitch pretty well anyway. So that's what I'm here to do. Now, before I put the camera down and get ready and warm up and everything, um, if you're wondering what I'm listening to whenever I'm, I'm actually uh, recording these videos, is I'm actually listening to my podcasts at the moment anyway. Um, something to me is I always look to progress, so I'm always listening to my podcasts or watching my content and seeing how I can improve everything. So um, it's a sneaky little plug. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for that one, and um, I'm going to start warming up. Alright guys, so I've got my boots on and everything now. Um, I'm just going to go through some light stretching which I won't really show you because I'll probably cover stretching and foam rolling and that kind of thing in a gym video. Um, obviously I'm not at the gym right now but it's still just as important. So I'm just measuring out kind of how far the 18 yard box would be um, out on a soccer pitch and then I'm going to take another 10 yards or so on that and have some shots from there. Um, but I'll just warm up first and then from here You'll see me having some shots. I've only got the one ball as well, so you'll probably see me doing a fuck ton of running. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, I don't know if you'll be able to hear me because it's windy as fuck and my tripod's gone loose for a sec. Um, so I've just been out for about 20 minutes now and I had my hoodie on without realising how fucking hot it is at Australia today. Um, so I'm sweating like fucking crazy, you could probably see it on my shoulders and all of this. But I just wanted to talk about something real quick um, regarding me and soccer. So if you've listened to the 2019 podcast or even the, my fitness journey podcast, you would know that I actually had a head injury, that's why I don't play, so you're probably just going to see me in some highlights, practicing some freestyle stuff that I used to do as well, um, where I headed the ball. So, for anyone who knows, don't get concerned about that, because it's only like a, like a non-tense and it was a juggle header. I've been told that's apparently alright compared to an in-game header, regardless, I probably shouldn't be doing it anyway. Um, so yeah, um, regarding me playing soccer as well, I used to be a centre midfielder, uh, well my best years were in centre midfielder as well. I started off in the juniors as a striker, then went to centre back, then went to goalkeeper for a year, then back to midfield, then back to striker, and then I finished playing midfielder, that's where I had my injury. Um, so yeah, so I'm just taking a little bit of a breather, um, sucking on some EAAs, which you can probably see on the floor over there, so essential amino acids with some creatine in it. Um, because it is my rest day, I probably won't be having as many calories as usual, but I'd usually have Powerade in that concoction there. Um, that's my intra-workout drink, but obviously I need to keep my um, creatine levels up on my off days too. So, 
So yeah, that's all I'm gonna have a chat about now because my camera's probably gonna die in the next 10 minutes or so. Uh, so I don't know how much more recording I'm gonna get done. So I might just chuck my camera away and then practice some more shots. Um, I've actually had terrible fucking shooting today considering I'm just getting the rust out the legs, but um, yeah. So I'll see you later on in this video. I don't know when I'm gonna start recording next. Could be tomorrow, it could be Monday. Not a fucking clue, so all right, see you later. Hey guys, so welcome back to the video. Um, it's now Monday, the last time I recorded was Saturday. Had some issues with uh, the camera on Saturday after, so you only really saw one shot after I last spoke to you guys. Mind you, it was the best shot that I've had in a very, very long time, about 30 yard knuckleball, which you've obviously just seen. Anyway, so I'm back here about to start recording some podcasts, and I'm coming with the news that I'm not going to post any more video podcasts. It's just not really things that I want to put up on the channel because it's just boring and sit there and watch when obviously it can be listened to here. So I'm about to start recording this new episode. Um, however, I've just got a new intro made for the podcast. So I'm just going to show you the preview of that and we'll get started and I'll put the camera back away. So here we go. I'm just on Adobe Audition. So we'll press play. Well, welcome to the Doroud Podcast. My name's Sam and I'm your host and let's get right into it. So, yeah, <laughs> that's, the, um, that's the intro for my podcast from now on if you heard that. Now, the reason I went with that is because one, dubstep's fucking lit. <laughs> I love dubstep. But two, my mate of mine's actually into music pro producing or creating songs and stuff. Um, and he's the one that made that for me and it's funny actually because he and I actually used to make YouTube videos together all the fucking time So don't be surprised if you see him in some videos in the future. So yeah, I'm gonna start recording this podcast and I'll see you guys later on G'day guys, how you going? So it is now Wednesday and I've just showed you my morning weight so um Excuse me, I'm on my first week of my shred. Well, now finished on my shred, anyway, um, since the health issues that I had. So, I started at 88.6 after the health issues because I kind of blew out with my food, and now, as you saw, I'm 87.2 fasted weight. Um, now, for me, I'm still holding a fair bit of fat and a fair bit of water weight everywhere. Um, obviously expected, um, from what you probably don't know, is I also spent the last... 15, 16 months bulking where I started at 74 kilos and got right up to 89, 90 kilos. So that's probably why I'm a little bit water. So to finish off this video, um, I'm just gonna do a quick physique update and I'll try and do these every fortnight to every month. Um, obviously as I progress, I go to Bali soon. So I'll do the last, I guess, physique update before I go to Bali. Then when I come back, my coach and I make adjustments to whether or not I'm going to be stepping on stage later this year or whether I'm gonna start building again, refocused for season A next year. Because it is my plan to step on stage for a comp. So um, I'm just gonna cut it now to the physique update. I'll try and talk you through it and I'll hopefully my dog, Jakey Boy, doesn't um, interrupt and try and walk on through. All right, let's get into it. Okay guys, so as I said, I'm currently 87.2 kilos. So this is all me currently relaxed. Okay, so we'll go side on. So that's the relaxed state. Okay guys, so you've probably just seen the physique update, the relaxed one anyway. I'm just gonna chuck in there um, a little bit of my legs as well, just the posing side of my legs. The reason I'm introducing that is because with me and shredding, for some reason, I always lose all the fat and all the water within my legs straight away. So I'm a week in and I've 
got all my separations between the muscles in my quads back, um, separation between quad and hamstring, waiting for the striations and the hamstrings to kick in. My calves are obviously very well developed. I don't know how much or how well you could have seen them, but there's, vas there's vascularity all through my calves and stuff already. That's like that year round. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to give that kind of update, particularly my lower body being such a huge strong point. In the future, I am gonna obviously do a upper body update. Um, I'll do a full body update as well. Obviously, you've already seen my full body, but I'll do a full body posing routine and the leaner I get, just so I don't like doing like full body poses as such when I'm this fluffy because it's just, it's hard to see the actual proportions and stuff for me and I don't like looking at it. But even me showing you a full body update is a little bit out of my comfort zone anyway. Um, I do have loose skin areas in my lower chest and then I got loose skin also around my torso and I'm hoping that obviously just kind of fades away as time goes on in this shred. So yeah, I'm just gonna call this video quits for the day. Um, I hope you enjoyed the little bit of, I guess, editing as such, not really editing, I just put a song over it for, for the kick around. Um, I'm still trying to find a gym where I can record some of my workouts and stuff at because I actually really want to do a calf, um, tips for calf training anyway video and then obviously some other leg day stuff as well, just general training as well to so obviously break up this vlog style of video. Alright, so I'm about to get my new food plan coming in the next couple of days. Um, food plan, I guess my macros and stuff resorted. From there, I'm going to actually do sit down and do a full nutrition video with the food that I eat. Um, obviously, the food that I eat is going to be different to a lot of people um, purely because I'm very strict and I enjoy eating the same thing every single day. Obviously, with macros though, you can do flexible dieting and stuff as well, which I can show you how to do. Um, but I'll just show you what I eat on a data basis in the next video. So until then, have a good week and I'll see you then.